What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to Rhonda's Real Talk, where people come for the food and they stick around for the conversation. Before we get into this food, I want to ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Today, I'm eating Chipotle because the chicken al pastor is back. So that's it, y'all. Got me a bowl. I'll tell you everything that's in it after I take this bite. Mm, yes. All right, that's a bite for y'all. Mm, mm, mm. The chicken El Pastor is my favorite meat of theirs. I only had it one time and it blew my mind. It was so good when I had it, y'all. I went back the next day and it was off the menu. I was so hurt. When I tell you I was hurt, I was hurt. So this is what's funny. I get on a Chipotle app. This is my first time using the app. Usually Honey places the orders and she uses the app or whatever, right? But I've never used it before. So I'm like, you know what? It might be like a lunch rush when I go. I just want to be able to grab my food and go, right? So I'm going I'm to download the app. I get on there to get a, a veggie bowl. I was getting a veggie bowl. I wasn't even getting no meat. But y'all, when I saw the chicken out pastor was back, I was like, nah, I'm getting that. <laughs> Mm. I don't want to forget to tell y'all what's in the bowl. All right, so I got white rice, I got black beans, the chicken al pastor. Um, I got the mild salsa, corn, cheese, sour cream, and lettuce. And speaking of the app, so I was like, all right, I'm getting a bowl. I'm going to get some chips and some queso. One thing about the app that'll get you together real quick is the calories. Y'all, why is the small queso like 800 calories? I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm good. I'll just have a bowl. And let me, let me take that back. It might not have been eight, but it was definitely seven something. But it also could have been eight. I don't remember. I just know it was high as hell. And I was like, mm-mm. No. Nah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. This is so good. If you haven't tried chicken al pastor, you should try it. It says it's back for a limited time. I feel like it's not going to be in all locations. So you should check the app to see if your location has it or not. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So I think I told y'all in the last video how meat was like burning my stomach so i dug a little deeper y'all and i identified what meat messes up my stomach and it's ground chicken and ground beef both of which i don't eat that often but i had some and when i tell you my stomach was on fire oh my god y'all so yeah, I'm good on both of those. I never feel that way when I eat ground turkey. I never feel that way at all. Um, so yeah, that's probably like the only ground meat that I will eat. Mm. 
Mm. So when I pick my order up, I'm almost at the door. I'm like, let me check my order. Cause first of all, my bowl feel real light. I check it. Everything looks right. And I'm like, the reality is Rhonda, this is how the bowl should look, you know? I'm so used to those massive bowls, depending on who make it, of course. But this is a perfect amount of food. It's definitely one of the lightest bowls I've had in a while, though. Mm. This is so good. guy he was like a former chipotle employee and he was showing you how to make everything on the menu i want to make the chicken al pastor Y'all, guess what? Over the last couple months, I've gotten comments, DMs, emails about story time. When is it coming back? What's up with it, Rhonda? What's going on? Let us know something. Don't leave us hanging, right? So, I'm happy to say that story time is coming back. It is coming back, y'all. But it's coming back a little bit different. One thing I had to accept was that story times at one point worked well on this channel, but they don't work well on this channel anymore. And I had to accept that. So that means the story time is going to be on a different channel. I'm sorry. I started a new channel. Um, and the story times that I've been telling have been fiction. If you haven't caught up, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I have a fiction story playlist, so go check out some of the videos, some of the stories I've told. Um, go back and rewatch your favorite story time. Um, the stories that I'm going to be telling going forward are going to be nonfiction. So based on true stories, true experiences, real, real people's experiences, their lives. I don't like happy endings. Um... I don't like happy endings with stories because it's just a true reflection of life. Like when we say that life is life in, man, anything can happen at any time. All of us have, have gone through something, currently going through something. And that's what I like to, you know, to share my stories, you know. And so a lot of these stories are just stories that have been over the years that I'll be sharing. Um, I have everybody's permission for me to share the stories. And before I talk about anybody else's experience... I'm starting off with mine. And that's only right. And I'm going to tell y'all one of the most trifling, most toxic, disrespectful, inconsiderate. This is a, it's one of the worst things that I've done in my life to, uh, to somebody else, you know. And I'm excited. I'm happy this story time is coming back. I've missed it. You know. I feel like story time, storytelling is one of my gifts. So, you know, not using that gift, you know, I feel fulfilled when I tell stories. So I'm really excited about getting back to it. Um, I will give y'all the channel name and stuff once I have like three to five videos loaded. I don't want to tell you the channel name and you subscribe and nothing is there. When, you, when I tell you the channel, I want y'all to be able to go and get active and start listening right away so that's coming soon i wanted to launch the channel in february but y'all when i got sick <clears throat> that last time 
I was sick for like 10, 11 days. You know what I mean? And right around that time, I was scheduled to do like some batch recording. So I couldn't get it done. So having to, you know, come back from that, take care of other stuff, revamp other stuff. So, but it's all right. It's going to happen exactly when it's supposed to. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, please let me know in the comments. Mm. I've recorded mm, three episodes so far. I got some editing I have to complete. And I'm like halfway through the first episode. So I've been recording out of order, right? And um, the first episode, like I said, is going to be about me. I'm going to leave with me and then get into everybody else's story after that. And so I let Honey hear the 20 minutes that I have recorded so far, right? Because I got to finish the I got to finish the first episode, the second half of it. Y'all, she heard that first 20 minutes. Her face was all turned up. She was like, ugh, you was a scumbag. Like, ugh, Rhonda, you were so disrespectful. I can't believe you. Mind you, she knew the story. She already knew the story. She, I told her about this stuff a long time ago. Like, you know, we was getting to know each other and sharing, like, our past experiences. I told her what I did. But, I mean, I, I think it definitely hits different when you're hearing all the small little details. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. When it was done playing... She was like, where the second half at? I'm like, I gotta finish it. So I'm putting it out there, letting y'all know. This will also keep me accountable to make sure that I stay on it because I want to get it launched as soon as possible. So yeah, that's a little update. Mm. Oh yeah. Just empty. Gone. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm about to answer a question that I was DM the other day. But before I get into that, if you have a question, a situation, or a topic that you'd like me to address here on the channel, hit me up at Rhonda's Real Talk at gmail.com or send me a DM on Instagram at Rhonda's Real Talk. Shout out to Candace for sending this question over. It's actually two questions. And they're good ones because I feel like that a lot of y'all will want to know the answer. All right. So the first question was, Rhonda, what do you enjoy most about parenthood? And the second question, are you and Alicia having more children? All right. So for anybody that may be like, what? Where? Why would anybody ask Rhonda that? So Alicia has three children. She has a seven-year-old boy, a 15-year-old girl, and a 17-year-old girl as well. All right. So... Um, what do I enjoy most? I enjoy uh, many parts of, of parenthood. Um, I would say the thing that I enjoy most is the effort that it takes to build a relationship with the children. And of course, I'm answering that as somebody who is was new in their lives. Um, I love the effort that it takes because it's like they're all they have different personalities or different ages, different interests. So you have to figure those things out, you know, and I never wanted to for us to have anything that was like separate you know because i've definitely seen relationships where people they're dating somebody with children but it's like they they don't really focus on that part of it at all like they're not trying to establish a relationship it's just like i'm in a, i'm in a relationship with this person they take care of their children and then we hang out and do what we can when we can it's not like that i never wanted that I wanted to, you know, be around and be supportive and, you know, be like a bonus mom, a bonus parent, a bonus adult, whatever you want to call it. I wanted that role. You know, there was no way that I was going to be in a relationship with someone that has with children and, you know, not try to make an effort, you know, to have a relationship. So I love it. You know, I love the effort that, that it takes to, you know, build the dynamic and build, you know, you have to establish trust. Like it takes a lot to do that. So, yeah, so like, for example, as soon as I'm done recording this video, like I'm not even about to edit it. As soon as I'm done, I'm about to go pick the 17 year old up and we're going to go work on maneuverability. She's preparing for her license test. Right. So, you know, that's how we've been driving together for months, for months, for months, for months. Right. And it's given us a chance to connect. You know, we talk about all kinds of stuff, you know. We talk, we laugh. She's talking about what's going on at school with this person, that person. I'm sharing certain things with her. And so I love that driving has allowed us to really take our relationship to the next level. So I love it, you know, and 
parenthood is just a really rewarding thing. You know, it's really rewarding. Um, my mom used to always tell me that like how rewarding parenthood is. And now I understand what she's saying. So I enjoy it. I really do. I enjoy it. I love it. You know, I love the children with all my heart. I would do anything for them. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that. But like I said, it's a lot of things I enjoy, but that's the one thing that kind of stands out is just like the ongoing effort you got to put in to just really have that relationship, you know? Um, so the second thing was, are we going to have more kids? The answer, we, we talked about it, but the answer is no. And it's a firm, hard no. First of all, I, I, I'm not too old to have children. Like I could still obviously have children, but I'm just in a place where it's like, baby, that shit has sailed. And to be honest with you, I really just can't wrap my mind around a newborn, an infant, a toddler. You know, when I came into the picture, her youngest, he was five at the time. So that was like the perfect age to me. You know, you can talk, you can tell me what you want. You know, all that stuff or whatever. So I really can't imagine myself going through, like I said, the newborn baby stage and the toddler phase. You know, I think that this has been a great experience, you know, with the ages that the children are. But yeah, we're not going to have any more children. We're not. Definitely not. <laughs> nah, this is it. And I think that this is perfect. I'm, I'm okay. I'm content. I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. You know, I've helped raise my godson. So I've had my experiences and I'm sure I've been motherly towards other people as well along the way. And that's, you know, I always knew I had motherly instincts. And of course, I, I was able to showcase that with my experience with my godson and helping raising him. And I'm still just as motherly now, you know, like I'm a really nurturing person. Um, so yeah, like it's, it's great. Like I, I'm enjoying every part of it, but I just could not for the life of me imagine us having a child. Like, no, it ain't happening. It's not happening. Now I think that everything is great the way that it is. The kids are, you know, they're getting older, um, uh, which means that, you know, Lish and I are, you know, traveling more, doing different things and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So thank you again for the question, Candice. So like I said, y'all, if y'all ever have any question about anything at all, um, or something that you want me to address here on the channel, it's Rhonda's Real Talk at gmail.com or Rhonda's Real Talk on Instagram. So that's it, y'all. That's the video. I'm about to get up out of here and um, go do my bonus mom duties. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go, you know, go do some driving, some maneuverability. That's what I'm about to go do. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate y'all watching. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace.